Hey, you! Yes, you! <laughs> Standing next to the woman who now wishes she wasn't sitting there. Are you tired? Listless? About to host a talk show with big guests and worried you've got nothing to say? Then why not try drinking? Yes, drinking. Feel all your old confidence flooding back and soon you'll be able to shout and start the show! I have wine drinking pro S. If you want me, Blue Nun, I am available. <laughs> and we're talking adverts because uh, tonight we're joined by the star of brilliant advertising drama Mad Men, Don Draper himself. John Hamm is here! <laughs> Ladies. <laughs> Oscar winning actress and star of the new sci fi blockbuster Prometheus, Charlize Theron is in on the show. Yes, she is. Plus, comedian actor and the man behind the legendary Alan Partridge, Steve Coogan is here. Music from the wonderful Rumor, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. And uh, for our visitors, what an exciting time to be in the country. It's Jubilee Weekend! Oh, oh it is exciting. No, seriously, I'm excited. But I can't think of anyone who won't be waving a Union Jack. I can't. Um, <laughs> maybe one person. Hey, look, we've got two bank holidays, two of them. Grace, yeah, I know. Mind you, if you think that's a long weekend, try flying back from Azerbaijan with Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> it's further than you think. <laughs> uh, of course, there's going to be a huge concert as well with JLS playing. That'd be great. I mean, who doesn't like JLS? Hmm? <laughs> Awkward. And the highlight of the weekend is going to be the flotilla on the Thames. All the royals have their own unique boats. Uh, the Queen, Charles, and of course, Harry. <laughs> uh, it's Friday night now, it's Friday night now, and already every single member of the royal household has been overdoing the celebrations. My half. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it's sleeping, right? It's sleeping, right? <laughs> uh, it's going to be a weekend of partying. I can't imagine what the Queen's going to look like after four days non stop drinking. <laughs> Off of his head. Let's get some guests on! thing because I'm I know I'm gonna get this uh, wrong a lot uh, Charlize no Theron. I was just I was back there freaking out you're like the first person who said it perfectly really yeah I'll stop now I won't, yes. I won't say it again it's amazing 15 years and then you came along <laughs> don't change us here now, by the way you guys do you know each other outside of being back there or on a sofa I know John and I don't know Steve <laughs> Because I've seen him on the telly. <laughs> you know that's not real. I know, I know. <laughs> um, now, it is Jubilee weekend. Uh, do you have plans? Uh, anybody got plans for Jubilee I, uh, I didn't realize it was Jubilee weekend, but when I got here, I got in town uh, a couple days ago and was invited, uh, I guess, to sit next to the Queen um, on the boat. No, you're down joking. The, uh, that's amazing. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, you're joking. Sort of not, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I don't know her. 
Like it's four it's like, hours. It's a long thing. And what are we going to talk about? <laughs> I don't own crowns or, or tiaras. Or, no, or, I don't know if you're joking all. or not. Are you joking? Oh, no, I'm completely joking. Yeah, oh. No, 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 he, he has been invited on the boat. I'm really confused now. Are you being invited on the boat? No. <laughs> well, no. Did you lie to him as well? Lie to me as well. Yes. John. Oh. It's a great story. It really is. I didn't even know there was going to be a boat. <laughs> and, and, and these two were thinking, how oh, the yeah. they Do they know I have an Oscar? <laughs> Do they, they not know? It's <laughs> just another thing you don't have in common with the Queen. <laughs> I have, now, Charlize Theron. Mm. Now, we're delighted you're here for all sorts of reasons. I'm so happy to be I'm a huge fan. Thank you. That's a man. Very sweet. <laughs> Didn't have to say that. Did not have to say that. <laughs> A lot of people are going to be thrilled that you're here because it means that Prometheus is finally out. It's yeah. in cinemas tonight. This thing, it's been so kind of hyped, anticipated. I've never known it's anything like it. It's like an like elephant it. pregnancy. Yeah, really. Oh. I mean, you've been waiting and waiting and waiting. I've seen it. I really enjoyed it, but I feel like I can't say anything about it because... Yeah, because there's a sniper somewhere about yeah. to take you out. Like Ridley Scott will swing it on a rope and exactly. kill me. <laughs> yeah, I've been walking around with that feeling for a long time. Because when you got the script, did you have to kind of sign a letter in blood to say you would tell no one about it? Well, a, a, a version of that. I mean, it's not unusual with these bigger movies movies to have them be very secretive and you know they don't like to kind of have tons of scripts kind of floating around there and with this I think because everybody knew that he had this thing in development for like 33 years and <laughs> yeah so uh, you know it's like an elephant's pregnancy <laughs> I think I think they were oh you're so rude Sorry. god I'm a legs. lady god keep them together and stand sit still <laughs> Um, anyway, so I was in, I was in uh, Malaysia, and it was monsoon season. I was on vacation with my family, and I get this uh, text from Ridley saying, you have to read the script within two hours, because otherwise it will implode on you, and you have to let me know. And there was this massive storm going on, and I couldn't get a Wi-Fi connection, and I had this little Malaysian man meet me with an umbrella, and we kind of, like, hiked up this hill in, like, a massive rainstorm. <laughs> And I had like my iPad like underneath my T-shirt, and then we found like a tree, and I literally sat, like reading. I, I only read like half a page. Am <laughs> <laughs> I kidding? It's really Scott. And, um, I'm, I should be so grateful. And it really's kept the thing of of sort of strong women in, yeah. in this, because this because. You don't, certainly don't need to know the Alien movies. This is a totally separate thing. Yeah, it originated as, I think, a long time ago, it originated as the idea of wanting to do a, a prequel. And then I think the more Ridley kind of worked with the writers, and they realized that there was actually more to explore if you didn't have the, to be, kind of play within that sandbox. So they just made it a standalone film. So it, it, you don't have to know anything about Alien, and if you know anything about Alien, you'll find little gems here and there, um, you know, little Waldos. But really, anything other than the last eight minutes of the film really kind of feels like it's from that family. And uh, obviously, it, it's you, it's Numero Pace, Guy Pearce, and uh, Michael Fassbender is amazing in it. Yeah, he's yeah, he's amazing. He's incredible in it. He plays an android and. Spoiler! Spoiler! No, not a spoiler. Not a spoiler. He's, uh... Here comes Ridley. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's amazing in it. Um, and I get to do some fun stuff with him. So, yeah, that was fun. All right, we've got a clip. This is uh, near the beginning, so it contains no spoilers. Okay. 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 Here you are. Oh! It must be fun to be here because people are so excited about seeing it. it, it is, yeah, it's yeah. really, yeah, everyone's like, oh, it must be so much pressure. And I'm like, no, it's nice that people want to actually go and see <laughs> the movie that you're in. There's and uh, the other thing we have to acknowledge, I think, at this point, what a beautiful sofa it is tonight. <laughs> it is a beautiful sofa. <laughs> Steve, you're a very handsome man. Thank you. And then. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I mean, it's unnatural, the other end of the sofa. Yeah, I it's, know. It's, but can I just say, can I just say, if people are at home, <laughs> if people are at home looking at their ugly child asleep going, <laughs> uh, there's hope, there's hope. Because Charlize Theron, you didn't, Theron, I could oh. always say, I knew I should stop saying it. That's uh, it, I'm gone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you blossomed sort of later in life. I said, child, <laughs> you weren't the prettiest of children. Is that fair? Are you trying, you were talking about the fact that I had no teeth. That That'll be the way. one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't, yeah. Um, I was very sick as a, as a baby. I had jaundice and I was allergic to my mom's breast milk. And it took them a really long time to figure that out. So the sicker I was getting, the more antibiotics they were giving me. And back then, it was just horrible the antibiotics. And it rotted my upper teeth. And they had to actually cut my upper teeth out. Oh, my God. So I had, for some reason, my fangs survived it and my bottom teeth. And that's what I had until I was about 10 years old. God. I know. I know, you guys. It was so hard. I know. But it's a shame you, you never grew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you sort of made up for it now. Yeah, yeah. So I was like always like the lanky, skinny, tall girl with no teeth. <laughs> I know. Oh. I know. Life was really you great. You've got great ones now. Yeah. I think school reunions are really good for you now. Yeah. <laughs> Charlize? <laughs> <laughs> However, how annoying. John Hamm, you've always... I mean, here's a picture of you. This is in high school. It looks like an Abercrombie and Fitch model shop. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Is that your midriff? Is that a, are you wearing a right Britney in the middle Spears there, yeah. crop top? Oh, yeah. <laughs> crop top. It, was, it was the 80s. I mean, what were you going to do? There was, a, there was a required look. Uh, and it was mesh and, uh, you know, cut it halfway across the way there. Yeah, no, because it didn't stop there. You did cut it, didn't you? <laughs> you <can> see. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's on purpose. Oh, yeah. That is a look. Feast your eyes on my treasure trail. Look at it there. Oh, yeah. I was 17. <laughs> I'm sorry. I did that. Because no one can accuse John Hamm, I think, of being an overnight sensation. You plugged away for a long time. Mm, yeah. Yes, I did. Uh... Yeah, I, I landed in L.A. in, I guess, 1994, 1995, somewhere around then, and proceeded to not work for a solid three to four years. I uh, was there around that time. Thanks for taking all my jobs. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, uh, you know, I waited tables and bartended and, uh, and did the whole, uh, that whole circuit. And did you make a deal with yourself about kind of when am I going to say this is not I happening? gave myself to the age of 30. I figured if that, if that didn't happen by then, then I guess the market had spoken and, uh, and I would uh, slink back to uh, the Midwest. Because even your big break, getting Don Draper and Mad Men, that wasn't easy. No. In fact, uh, I had to audition something like seven or eight times for it. Uh, the American Network AMC was their first foray into any original programming. So they, they naturally wanted somebody incredibly famous. Uh, I was not that. <laughs> um, and so uh, they had to be convinced. And, and I had to audition and audition and audition and audition and audition. And did they tell you to your face that they didn't think you were sexy enough? No. Uh, in fact, I only recently <laughs> heard that. Uh, like, but, how recently? Wait, but, <laughs> <laughs> just now. Just now. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, by Sorry. the way. Uh, no, that was, uh, that was uh, apparently they told the, uh, the creator, the writer and creator, that uh, they didn't think I was uh, Were they sexy blind? enough for the... Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just like, are, uh, are they still alive and working? <laughs> they're all gone. That's what I would think. I had them murdered. <laughs> Uh, no, that, you know, I guess... Well, I'm glad no one told you, because that's an awkward call. Sure, yeah. sure, that would be weird. Yeah, um, yeah. But no, it, uh, it worked out okay.